there welcome to cards by sandy i'm sandy trower and i can't wait to show you the handmade for the holidays stampin up catalog this catalog is available september the first so we're only a few days away but let me tell you what if i could i'd open up the inside but this catalog has a lot of neat oh i'm just all kind of stamp sets inside of it i had a hard time really picking what i wanted if you don't have a catalog and interested, just go to my website and request one. So, that's the catalog. Now, that's no fun. Let me show you one of the stamp sets that I was able to get ahead of time. And I love it. I mean, I see so many endless possibilities. But, here it comes. <sighs> the Thankful Forest Friends. I love this set. I love the bear, the fox, the rabbit, the sayings. I mean, I've seen so many cards and ideas for this. It was just wonderful. It, to me, it's fall, it's Thanksgiving, it's baby cards with a little rabbit, a little baby bear, a little baby fox. I mean, there's endless possibilities, and that's what I like about a stamp set, that it doesn't have to just be for a holiday. Just because you've got the word sayings, you can put any saying on a set that you want. So what are we going to be making with it? We're going to be making this bear card. And I'm going to show you some of the designer series paper. It's two-sided. So you've got, here's uh, the first, and this is when you flip it over. This is the second side. I really like this one with the little purple flowers. And this is the second side. The nuts. I mean, just look at these fall colors. The wood grain. And the one we're going to be using today here. Isn't that beautiful? Now, all the products and all the supplies that I'm using is going to be posted on my website along with all the dimensions to where if you miss it as I'm going through this card, you'll be able to go and get them off my site. So, here's the colors we're going to use. This is just a fall colored card. And we're going to be using the Old Olive. This is a four and a quarter by four. So, I'm going to score it at five and a half. I've got Whisper White. Now, for the outside, I'm using the Designer Series Paper. And it is a five and a quarter by four. We're going to layer it with... Daffodil Delight, and it is a three and a quarter by four and three quarters. So it's three and a quarter wide, four and three quarters long. We have another layer of the Whisper White, and it's three inch wide, four and a half inch long. So what we're going to be working on first is just working with our bear. Now I'm using the Rich Razzleberry. I love the Rich Razzleberry. But I want to do my saying first. Why? That way I know exactly how much room I need to where then when I place my bear, I've, I've got to judge. I want to place the bear and then not have enough room. Now, the way I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be using markers. And I'm using the colors that coordinate with our paper. So I've got the Daffodil Delight, Old Olive, Tangerine Tango, and Rich Razzleberry. Now, another color that goes with this is, is the soft suede, but I'm not going to be using it today. Now, I'm going to be marking, if you notice on my card, it goes in all different colors. So, the way I'm going to do that is use the markers directly on my stamp, but I'm going to start with my lighter color first, and I'm going to use the brush tip. What I like to do, just where I know everything is covered, I'm just going to sit here with the marker and I'm going to go over my entire stamp. That way if I miss putting a darker color on it, I know that it's got a base color. Now also, the way you can tell if you've got it, if you look in the light, and I doubt you can see this on the screen, but I can play in the light and I can see if it looks shiny. If it's not shiny, then I know that does not have the ink on it. But you always start with your lighter color, and you start working up in your darker color. So my next one, I'm just going to use orange. 
and I'm just going to go give it just some stripes just across it. There's no rhyme and with rhythm to what I'm doing. I think that's what makes it prettier. We'll go with the rich razzleberry. Like I said, I'm just hitting it in just different places here. And then the old olive marker. Now you can use any combinations of colors that you would want to use. Uh, I just like these colors, but this is a good uh, tip for about anything that you're working on. Um, you can do this with uh, flowers, um, just about anything. So now, once I've done that, because I want it to make sure it didn't dry, I'm just going to sort of breathe on it to make sure that it hasn't dried and it'll pick up all my ink. So now let's stamp. And look at that. Wow, I love that. I'll bring it up just a little bit closer. See that? I just love the different colors. There's a little bit of the yellow in there. There's some of the greens, the orange. And you, if you didn't want orange, you wanted more of the yellows. So you just have to play with what your colors are that you like. Now the next thing I'm going to use is the Rich Razzleberry. And I love this color for my bear for some reason. I just love this bear. Okay. Now I'm going to put the bear down. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay. Now for the inside of the card, I'm just going to set him aside. There's this smaller flower. Now if I wanted to, I could have even used this using the same technique that we did on our words here. You can do the same uh, work thing with this other little swirl, but I've just got this little um, flower, and I'm going to use sort of the same technique. Uh, I'm just going to go just in a few colors. There's this little end, and I always get it confused. And now my green for the vine. And I'm just stamping it three times. It's a dark, lighter, lighter color. Now, I thought what would be nice is to add like a little rabbit inside. So I'm going to go put the rabbit on a block. And we're going to use the same rich razzleberry. And I'm just going to have a little rabbit. Okay, rabbit. One over here, he's going to eat him a few leaves. Okay. okay, let's assemble the card now. And I... I'm going to put the Designer Series paper down. We're going to put our Daffodil Delight. And you could pop this up with some dimensionals if you wanted to. Uh, and if you could also edge this to give it a softer look. Uh, I did actually edge this one with a soft suede uh, around the white. We're going to put the inside. I think I know what my Thanksgiving cards are going to be because look and see how fast and simple that was. This will make a very cute Happy Thanksgiving card. Now, how fast was that? I just love this stamp set. Like I said, this one's called the Thankful Forest Friends. So, September 1st. This set, along with all of the items in our Handmade for the Holidays, will be available. Thank you.